Hello, I am Tumima and welcome to Real Talk, the show where we get real about issues affecting young people. Tonight, we get real on the Insta Life. Why is there so much pressure to get likes, followers and to belong on Instagram. So I have with me an audience full of young people who will be getting candid on this issue. And of course, we also have Robert Burale, who is a life coach. So he's going to be putting a lot of what we will be discussing tonight into perspective. Of course, coming from a place of great wealth of experience. And he's also going to be sharing some of his personal experiences. You're currently in a relationship. True. Who are you dating? <laughs> I am dating a Mr. Someone. I can't How say old me. is Mr. Someone? He's 28. And he spoils me too. And he spoils you? Yeah. So how does he spoil you? Going out, shopping. Yeah. Does he send you money? Yes, he does. How much on a week, for example? Okay. It depends on the amount of money you want. So ideally, how much do you usually want? Okay. 2,000. 2,000? Two, two yeah. Per week? Yeah. And that's, you're happy at least Mr. X supports you. Okay. My parents are, are not uh, financially upright. Yeah, so I need someone to support me. Yeah. So who is this someone? And how, how do you want them to support you? With money, obviously. Okay. So who is this someone? Who just comes with money and they want to give their money to you? Possibly a boyfriend. How old is this boyfriend? 30. 30? Wow, and you're 19 years old. Okay. So I just want to throw it to Burale because I can see you're shocked right now. I can see you're shocked right now. So listening to everyone talk, what's running through your mind right now? Wow. Um, listening to this um, very fine lady speak, um, it just says a lot that uh, we have some semblance of lack of identity uh, because it seems that social media has made us believe that unless you have some things then you're not complete. Now of course she wants like a 30 year old because he's in employment but I need you to understand one thing no one will just give you money as if they're an NGO they will give you money and you know you will need to give them something in return if you're not already giving them anyway. Now, I want you to realize this. I don't care what he tells you. He may make you feel like the most beautiful woman in Eastern Central Africa, but believe you me, he has told another 20 the same. <laughs> who, who, of course, he met on social media. Now, when you say he gives you 2,000 a week, that's very little money. He can do that to seven other women. That's 14,000. That's nothing. Now, with seven, 14,000, when he gives you money, you feel obligated to give him something in return. And it's not an investment. You're giving him your body. I'm just going to tell you as it is. None of you is giving back a toy car. You're giving back your body. Now, you've got to realize, if he's sleeping with you, the day he gives you 4,000, he'll want to sleep with you without protection. Now, he's doing the same with another seven. Now you're 19. By 21, you have signed your death certificate. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and Gladys, you just heard what uh, Burale had to say. Do you have any response to him? Most of us young people, we're not looking for a happy ever after. We're looking for stability. And once we've got that, there's nothing else that we need. When she's stable, we can handle it. Every, we can handle everything. So you prefer to date older guys? Yeah. And why is that? Okay. They are more mature. Most boys my age act like kids. They act like kids? Yeah. But aren't they acting their age? No, they're not kids. I'm not a kid. If I can behave the way I'm behaving right now and I'm the same age as they, they are. Uh, what I'll say is, uh, young lady, you're 19. But you made a comment that opened my eyes to something. You said, most of the guys you've dated... Uh, only one is your age, mostly three, four, five years. You are 19. When did you start dating? For you to use the word most. At 16. At 16, you should be watching Cartoon Network. <laughs> now, this is what I will tell you. <clears throat> uh, allow me just to tell you some things. I'm not a very young man. I'm not old, but I'm not a very young man. If 
you met a 28-year-old on Instagram, first and foremost, I have issues with that a 28-year-old praying at 16, 17, 18, 19-year-old people. It means his long-term plan is not with you, but his bedtime plan is with you. <laughs> now, he gives you 2,000. That tells me low maintenance. Is it worth it? giving your body, because the chances are, and allow me to say it without fear of contradiction, the chances are that you may have already compromised your body. Right? If you have, he has already got what he wanted. All right? And that is why, if you are honest, he will call you when he wants your body. He will not call you to give you his five-year plan. He will not call you to give you his 10-year plan. He will not call you to tell you he's thinking of doing his PhD. By the way, what will happen, at some point he will leave you for someone his age, and then you will fall back for the men you're saying are too kiddish, and by that time, there'll be a woman who would have seen something in them and have already taken the men. So, okay. so. And you're very intelligent, you're beautiful, the way beautiful. you're speaking, you're very sharp. Yes. What will happen, this young man you're looking down upon will say you're already used up goods. Susan. And then when you say they're kiddish, I want to tell you something. And allow me to say it. Absolutely. Allow me to tell you something. Dating many men is not maturity. This young man you're calling immature could be displaying the highest level of maturity by not sleeping around. So, I know, I know you are saying you're mature because you're dating older men. That doesn't make you mature. In fact, maturity is not about age. Ask that man what's his long-term, mid-term plan. This young man you're seeing here may have a 10-year plan. I'm supporting Lillian on what she said about the sponsors. Just because, okay, everything nowadays is all about the fame. Looking good, you have to look nice. And sometimes some of us come from backgrounds where you can't always ask your, like, your parents, you want a new hairstyle. And let's say you've come from Ushago, you've come to the city, things are different around. So you have to look good, you have to go with the trends. That means wearing nice clothes. Um, yeah, that kind of Sally, nice how trend. old are you? I'm 19. Are you in a relationship? No. Would you want to be in a relationship with an older guy? Older guy, yes. With money? With, okay, it's not like a necessity, but yes. Okay. So I just want to throw it back to Robert again, because I like that. To me, from where I'm sitting, I could tell that you imparted a lot of wisdom, but it's interesting that they're able to challenge it and try to justify why they need to look good, they need to keep up, like they said, they're living in a world where you have to wear nice clothes, you always have to slay. Senior. Wow, okay. You want fame. The day you get there, I want to tell you this for free. The day you get there, you'll want to run away from it. My sister, you've said it's okay. No, let me deal with her first. You said you have a long-term plan. Uh, so maybe you want to build a mansion after having 20 other men. <laughs> now, what is the point of having a long-term plan while putting your health at risk that you may not be alive long enough to actualize your long-term plan? <laughs> right? Hash was very open and says point blank that you are using them. Now, I'm going to ask you a question to illuminate your mind to something. Would you today go to Koenange Street and sell your body? But do you realize that's what you're doing in an educated manner? <laughs> so now, you said you will use them so you have a good hairstyle, you have good clothes. The ladies in Koenange Street use those men for money for the same thing. So it is the same business, different geographical areas. Now what I want to encourage you is, if you know who you are on the inside, clothes don't make you. Absolutely. Identity is an inside job. You understand? 
you should have such confidence within yourself that if they give you a bad t-shirt because it's on you it automatically looks good who do you look up to on social media i look up to very many people but in particular i'd say nancy mwai why is that her social life like i really like everything about her yeah but you realize that her social life is her work yeah she gets paid to do that exactly she gets paid to wear those clothes wear those wigs have that makeup on go to those locations and you realize that that is her social life is that her real life no so why do you feel the pressure to keep up at this young age when really even yourself you're admitting it's not realistic is someone paying you no someone is not paying me to someone is paying for you that's the difference someone is paying me yeah is paying for me to look that way why don't i create that brand that but, i want to create but what so, do you give up for someone to pay for you that is what we are asking you do you recognize what you have to give up for someone to pay for you yes i do recognize but currently i don't see any problem in that robert you don't see any problem with giving up your body yeah. as long as you get some money yeah okay now you follow someone nancy moy nancy moy and she said clearly she is paid to do that what you're following yeah so you want to create a real life scenario for yourself based on someone else not so real life scenario now if you're willing to sleep around it means you have no value because as a lady you must understand you are a diamond that somebody must dig deep to get to you you understand what i'm saying you're 19 you're 19 yeah i want to tell you something about men the moment he sleeps with you he's done with you he moves on right now until he sleeps with you he'll give you all the money you want 1000 2000 3000 now if you get 10000 from him your lifestyle is maybe worth 100000 a month because you want a, you say you want a hairstyle every week you understand it means then you'll have to move to another man who has to give you money before he gets you to bed right and then once it's done so it's done with you you move to another man now i want you to look to think about this after sleeping around with 10 men and then you look at yourself in the mirror you yourself and yourself how do you feel about yourself filthy now social media life for example if i ask you what car what kind of car do you think i drive or would you perceive i drive a range a range, range. rover yeah. okay i can't afford a range <laughs> i can't afford a range I don't even drive a Mercedes. I drive a Toyota. Very happy. Now you because you perceive me to be like that, you'll want to be with so many men so that you keep up with my life which is fake. I'm just a lawyer man from Busia. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys. So on that note, we'll be right back after this break. Still more to come here on Real Talk. Good evening everyone. My name is Stacy. Uh, my question goes to Robert. He actually said that is not it's not maturity to date many men. Is it maturity to date many ladies? And why should you castigate the girl child on having sponsors yet very many men out here are bentens? The fact that I said that it's not maturity to date many men is because I was reacting to a lady Now if a gentleman told me they have many women I would say the same thing it's a value thing the more people you're sleeping around with the less value you have and by the way 19 year old close your legs your value goes up so don't don't be made by money money reveals you so it means if money reveals you It means you are made by something else other than money which is what values do you have you understand if i met you in secret and i say jump into my car and if it's a range rover will you say no or will you say yes because you've seen leather seats dvd and you've seen a lot of money in the dashboard let me tell you something and hear me and hear me good young people as long as he's sleeping with you he's sleeping with 20 others So don't get annoyed when you find SMSs. By the way, you should never get annoyed because you may have been number 16. When I was studying in the UK, not Kisumu, United Kingdom. <laughs> I I had I had very many women. 
But I realized the more women I had, the filthier and the emptier I became. You understand what I'm saying? And the one thing that we had that you don't have, in your day and age, diseases are there like water. You do not have the privilege of sleeping around with more than two people. And by the way, you should not even be sleeping with one person until you get married. Now, I'm being, <laughs> I slept around. It didn't make me any better. In fact, during those times, my life was a mess. Absolutely. Now that I am not, and by the way, it's not that I'm not sleeping around because I don't have offers. I, I got news for you. I have offers like malaria tablets three times a day. <laughs> but my values will not allow me because, by the way, every time you sleep with somebody, you release some negative things. You understand? When you sleep with a man, you take all the negative he carries. By the way, you take very bad spirits. That's why all of a sudden some of you love drinking tea. Look at the Luya man you slept with. You become <laughs> like that person. <laughs> If you're not going to take your responsibility, then you're not man enough to unzip your trouser. So, <laughs> that kind of responsibility requires a lot of maturity, you understand, and decency, and high levels of integrity. And as you're told, lady, let me just say something to you. You don't have to make the same mistakes your parents made. You understand what I'm saying? Amy, are you listening? So don't, in fact, I, I'm sorry, uh, sometimes we use that as an excuse. So don't use it as an excuse because it will mess you up and your mom will cry when life has become very difficult for you. You understand what I'm saying? And then there is a lady who said, and, and they're saying something, mm -hmm. fame. What do you want fame for? Everybody says you want followers, you want to create a brand. If I ask you, what is a brand? You're all looking for fame so that you do what? And let me tell you something. 98% of the so-called celebrities you see on social media are broke. The, la the ladies you see posting photos in business class. How comes they never post the photos of the man? He's 90 and he's about to die. <laughs> then you, you want to be like that. Let me tell you, if you see me eating in a kibanda tomorrow, humble. don't call me humble. It's because I couldn't afford maybe the five-star hotel. So stop getting twisted. And this thing you're saying, fame, it is the reason you're compromising because you're chasing the wind. Be significant, fame will come. Absolutely. Absolutely. But when I say be significant, what is your purpose for living? Not to show off your weave. Yeah. You understand? People tell me I like, I love dressing, but that's not my purpose. I think what you're also trying to tell them is that fame is not a destination. It's a byproduct of something. Fame is a poisoned chalice. There are more disadvantages than advantages. First and foremost, they will lie on you, lie about you. They will gossip you. They will plan your downfall. Privacy. When I say they, they're your closest friends. You lose your privacy. If I cough badly, they, those funny groups which some of you are in, will start gossiping me. If, I, if my sock here was torn, it will be news. If you as is torn, you are just a Kenyan who is going about life. So when you're famous, you are not allowed some things. So let me tell you before you are desperate for fame, 90% of the famous people are trying to run away from the fame. Absolutely. Take it from me. Yeah. We act strong sometimes, but we break down in private. Let nobody lie to you that we enjoy the free tickets. Let me tell you, with every free tickets, every one function you went for free, there are six days of pain and sorrow. You don't know who to trust. Now, be significant. Once you get to your place of significance, which is in your area of purpose, which is the reason you were born, then you will become famous the right way. Followers. Followers on Instagram. I have, I think, a hundred and something thousand followers. Absolutely. Ninety percent are not followers. They are enemies pretending to be followers waiting for my downfall. I mean, look at what happened to Kobe. Yes. Can you just talk about what happened and to I'm Kobe? And I'm sure guys? Kobe, some of her closest friends, 
opened fake accounts to abuse her. I was abused by somebody and we investigated and it took us to one IP address, meaning one person opened 21 accounts to abuse me. When we found out who it was, it was somebody I was meeting not less than twice a week having tea and lunch with that person. So don't get it twisted. I want you young people, stop looking for fame, stop looking for money. When you look for money, there are crazy men out there who are willing to sleep with you for 2,000 shillings. Young men, there are older women out there willing to give you money to sleep with them. And this young, this young man sleeping with these older women, when their husband finds out, they will not call you for a meeting. You will be killed. What did you tell us you're studying? Film directing. Film directing. So what are you doing as a film director, Gladys? to ensure that your film work gets your kids to go to Banda school. Trust like me, my personal be. life doesn't have anything to deal with my school life. Yeah, I know how to put a balance between them. I don't know who told you that when you go to those schools, you'll be successful. Now, some of the most craziest people went to the most expensive schools and are doing nothing but taking drugs. Now, let me tell you the school I went to. My primary school was called Musa Gitao in Thogoto. My high school is called Bungoma High School. Do you hear what I say? Now, it's not about the school you go to, per se. It's about your willingness to learn. Now, somebody from a school in Busia or in Dederu can employ somebody who was in a, the most expensive school. I don't want to mention them. So don't get it twisted and think that the more expensive the school is, the better the chances you are you have in life. So I, I, I just want to rearrange your thought process. Trust me, I have counseled young men or parents have come crying to me and their kids are in those expensive schools where they have breakfast, bacon, sausage and Weetabix. And let me tell you, some of the most astute uh, citizens we have in this country are from what we call the less flamboyant schools. So don't think that anybody who is in a less flamboyant school it's has not. no chance in life. Mm -hmm. And by the way, even wanting your kids to go to those schools, it is fine. I don't think an investment of 2,000 a week from a man will help you get your kids to those schools. Whoa, well on that note guys, I think, uh, thank you so much Robert for coming on the show today. I hope to have you again on another Anytime. episode because I love that you guys have learned something from him, right? Yeah. We are keeping it real here as always. Thank you so much for tuning in. Join us, join the conversation on the hashtag hash real talk. That's it from me to Mima tonight. Thank you so much. Until next time, this has been Real Talk. <laughs> <laughs>